Hey guys, Dr. Keppel here with Core Chiropractic. Just wanted to tell you a little bit about why I became a chiropractor. So back when I was younger, I was very active. I was in, involved in a lot of sports. And one day I was playing basketball on the street with my friends and I actually ended up injuring my back so bad to the point where I couldn't even stand up straight. So I figured I'm 15, I'll, it'll go away, I'll get better, I'll just ice it, stretch. Well, after a few days went by, it was still there. And so my mom said, "Let's. I'm gonna take you to my chiropractor. And my mom had been to a chiropractor her whole life, so it was something that she really believed in. And I said, okay, mom, let's go. So we show up to the office. It's a tiny, tiny little office. It's just the front desk receptionist and the doctor. Um, wood paneling from floor to ceiling. Uh, but and I'm sitting there with my mom and I'm thinking to myself, where did you take me? So the doctor shows up, he comes up, biggest smile on his face, super excited to see me. We go back to the room and he just sits there and he just asks me about what brings me in, what, what's going on in my life, what goals I have. And I was thinking to myself, wow, this isn't just about what, what my pain like he's really interested he wants to know everything and I was like that's really cool at that age a lot of times doctors don't typically listen or take you seriously that's something that really stuck with me and I really got interested in chiropractic at that point but uh, when I started school uh, college I decided I'm gonna go business management and kind of focus on doing like a sports management type of thing because chiropractic was a little it was a little scary to me at first I didn't think I could do it so I'm junior year and I'm bored out of my mind. I, can't, I have nothing, I'm, it's not challenging me. And so I circle back to chiropractic and I think I, this is something that I can do. So what I do is I graduate with my business management degrees, but then I also start taking the prereqs to be able to apply to chiropractic school. And I also decided that the year before I moved down to Texas, that I would work as a chiropractic assistant in an office before I moved. The office was amazing. The doctor was super excited to hire me knowing that I was gonna go and become a chiropractor myself. Um, but it really just sealed the deal for me. It was, it was the right choice for me because it made me feel super prepared for school when I came down here. I felt like I had one up on my other on my classmates and they were always supportive the whole time that I was in school. If I had questions, I could go back to them and ask or th do's and don'ts, right? So I always felt like I had a really good support system and I'm super glad that I was able to be also as a CA at some point in my life and now the doctor because there's so they're very different perspectives and they get different sides of with the patient. So I'm really glad I was was able to get that opportunity uh, as well. So I'm officially seeing patients here at the Galleria office and I look forward to seeing you.